Hey guys, I'm back with another video, and today I'll be attempting a solve for the Megamix. And Megamix is based on a shape called the dodecahedron, and I'll be attempting a solve right now. So, so basically, most of the Megamix you solve like a three by three, which is pretty simple if you know how to solve a three by three. I mean, the first two layers you can figure out yourself. Only the last layer you need a bit of help. Well, at least in my case. So first off, we'll be starting with the first layer, of course. So we are just starting off and aligning all the corners using pretty much all the same algorithms because it is pretty much solving like a three by three. Now there are different variations of the Megaminx, and there is a two by two Megaminx. So I'm pretty sure you solve it just like a two by two cube. But anyways, now we are dealing with that pretty much mostly like a Rubik's Cube and a normal Rubik's Cube but with a lot more layers and the last layer is kind of complicated but only a little bit so now we'll move on to the second layer uh, pretty much all the same using the same algorithms nothing too different I'm sure most people can get at least right before the last layer to the last layer well, at least to their first time trying a Megaminx because it's pretty simple. All you have to do is try your best not to mess up the layer that you finished before and then you'll be fine. And the last layer is all you need a little bit of help because the last layer is a bit different than a 3x3. Three three. So yeah. As you can see all the green and purple are coming together a bit. And the yellow is also looking good. Also that lighter blue. As you can see, there are uh, repetitions of colors. Again, repetitions. Um, so there are two greens and two blues. I mean, it's not really a huge problem because they are on different shades, but that's just something I wanted to point out. All the colors look nice and vibrant, but I am not a huge fan of the gray, but it's not a bad deal. My cube is the Moyu Mofang Jiaoshi Megaminx which came in a bundle of four, which is pre-lubed, which is pretty cool. Anyways, as you can see, all the purple and yellow are coming together. It's all looking nice and good. Uh, yeah. As you can see, the red is also pretty looking pretty good and the pink is coming together. And also sometimes rivets cubes tend to do something where you, when you're solving some one layer, the other layer just automatically comes together, which is pretty cool, especially if you want to do a faster solve. There may be also case skips, where if you want to align an edge and it's already done for you, that's pretty lucky. But as you can see, it looks pretty cool. Solving the Megaminx is pretty satisfying, actually. Once you solve it, you do have that nice feeling and nice satisfaction and looks really rewarding. So as you can see, a lot of it looks pretty nice right now. So it's all coming together. As you can see, we are almost done with the yellow. Mm, yeah, so it's pretty much just doing the same thing over and over again. At first, it may seem a little hard, but if you try, it doesn't feel as hard as you think it will. So that's pretty cool. As you can see, there is a peach color too. Mm, I like the nice light blue there. It looks very cool and watery, I guess. Kind of like water or an ocean, a cartoony ocean. That's, yeah. So a lot of the things are coming together. Hopefully after a bit, we'll be able to start with the last layer. Mm, yeah, almost there. We just need to solve a bit of the green. As you can see over there, other than that, most of it is solved. So, yeah. Again, pretty much just like solving a 3x3 three three for most of the layers. Okay, so as you can see, there are a few more pieces that we need to put together. There is also orange left, which we will need to complete. As you can see by that edge piece there. I mean, mostly it is complete, but we just need to finish it up. Yeah. 
So now we can start with the last layer. One more edge piece to align. Yeah, there is. Yeah. So now we can start with the last layer. Now this is where things get a little tricky. It is pretty much like the three by three last layer, but there are slight differences since there are kind of five sides or five faces for each layer. Five sides. If you're getting what I say. It's kind of the thing with the Megaminx. What's a little harder with the Megaminx is aligning the corners because if you are using that same 3x3 algorithm, it does get a little hard. But, yeah, we're done. So I hope you guys enjoyed and it was longer than before because it does have a lot more phases. But thanks for watching and bye for now.